Can't stop the magic archer. Yo, the hog rider! What is it doing? <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jakey Kia Tag, and Sarah back in again with the strongest Mega Knight Magic Archer deck in Clash Royale. There are so many ways of taking towers, whether it's with the Mega Knight, the Royal Hogs, the Bandit, and if you somehow still can't break through, the Magic Archer will make it happen. You've got Fireball and Poison Bait with the Royal Hogs, the Skeleton Dragons, and the Magic Archer, so your opponent will never know where to use their spells, and if they try to poison, well, the Heal Spirit's gonna heal it all up. If you play against a Bridge Spam, Royal Hogs, or Hog Rider deck, it is impossible for them to break through the Mega Knight and the Goblin Cage. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using Critic Code Sir Tag in any Supercell game. All money made from Critic Code Sir Tag improves the channel's setup, editing, and allows me to upload daily videos while I take full-time college courses. So thank you guys for supporting me and helping me grow the channel. Hey, we got a game here. I'm gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna go for Bandit in the back to kick open the game. And we'll see what he has. So whenever we see skeletons, we know it's going to be a fast cycle deck. I don't know which one, but it's going to be one or the other. It's going to be something. So I want to go for a heal spirit on top of the goblins. Gary the goblin is putting in the work. Oh my goodness. So when we see knight and we see the double barrel, goblin barrel, and skeleton barrel deck, we can assume that he's got fireball. So what's the number one cardinal sin? Stacking up too much fireball bait. The second cardinal sin is giving him too much bomb tower value, but... He has to go in for Skeletons, and I think that the Royal Hog might get a hit. Ah, oh, it was close. It was so close. If I had a Heal Spirit there, we would have gotten a drastic amount of damage. So in this matchup, the way that I'm able to win it is slow rolling a Mega Knight in the back, and then we break through. That's the only way that you can do it. Because then you sometimes bait out the Bomb Tower with the Mega Knight, and if you bait out the Bomb Tower with the Mega Knight, they won't have it for the Royal Hogs. You go Royal Hogs in the office lane, and you accumulate all of your damage that way. At least that's how I win this matchup traditionally. If I try to go in for Royal Hogs into Bomb Towers and Fireballs, it's just not going to work. It's not going to cut the mustard, my dudes. So we want to go for Mega Knight. We'll see what he does. I expect him to probably go in for a Goblin Barrel here. Yeah, there it is. That's going to be off to the left-hand side. So we're just going to go for Mega Knight on that. You aren't going to get any damage. Our eyes. We have the Eye of the Tiger right now. Eye of Hawks. We will not be fooled by your shenanigans here. So I think he goes in for a knight or... Oh, he went in for the bomb tower. That's what we like to see. So we know he's going to fireball now. He is definitely going to fireball. So he's going to fireball the Royal Hogs. And the Dark Goblin is going to still stay alive, unfortunately. I was hoping that the Mega Knight would jump on that. It was just uh, a heavy cost to pay for the Mega Knight. Died to the Death Bomb. He's going to go for a Goblin Barrel because he doesn't have Knight and Cycle. And he didn't have Skeletons because he had to cycle it on top of the Mega Knight. So really awkward hand for him. And now he can't apply Aggression. So I can go in for Heal Spirit with the Skeleton Dragons. I can go in for Mega Knight here and Slow Roll. And then I can Log on top of that. Or I can go for Cage. I'm going to go for Cage instead. I think Cage is slightly better because it gives us Counter Push in that lane as well. So what are you going to do? You're going to go Knight. That means that the Goblin Cage Brawler is going to still give us Counter Push. We're going to go for a Log... And I can go in for a Magic Archer on top of the Knight. Let's go, baby. Give me all the chip damage. He knew. He felt it. He sensed it. So I need to still defend this. At least he doesn't have Fireball in Cycle. So I can go for a Cage here. Pull back the Skeleton Barrel. And I can also go for Royal Hogs and split them. He went in for a Log, so that's an easy Heal Spirit, my dudes. Heal Spirit's going to heal up all the Hogs. And he will also... Oh, no. Why did it go towards the Tower? <laughs> Not as easy as you thought, is it? <laughs> I said it was easy. And it's like, nope, Jake, nothing in life is easy. You need to work a little bit harder for this game. And uh, I will. I'll work my hardest, my dude. Log should hit the Dark Goblin at least. And Mega Knight's going to give us phenomenal counter push. I think he overextended. Yes, you got more damage than you wanted. But you know what? We'll probably be able to make it all back here. I'm going to make a bold prediction. We'll be able to break through with these Royal Hogs. He's down a lot of Elixir. We can go in for a Heal Spirit here. He's going to have to log, and he's not going to be able to hit everything he wants. Magic Archer is still alive. And let's go, Mega Knight on the tower. You'll love to see it. If you're this guy, you probably hate to see it, but I definitely love it. So Magic Archer is still alive on the right-hand side. The Bandit's coming through. What tower are we going to take? He's going to Fireball on the left, but now he doesn't have anything for the right, but it doesn't even matter. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. It was a pleasure playing against you. I think we're 6-0 in this GC. 
Hey, let's go. We're not losing today. This deck is unstoppable. Even when your opponent has Fireball and Bomb Tower, it doesn't even matter. So we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. I definitely want to go for a Heal Spirit first and foremost. Force out some Elixir. Maybe we can get out a Knight or something. It's hilarious what one Elixir can make your opponent do. We made him spam four Elixir at the river just because we went in for that one Elixir Heal Spirit. He wasn't ready. So now we get dual lane aggression. I'm going to go for a log on top of the Goblin Gang. So then we pave the pathway for the Goblin Cage Brawler. Shrek is just demolishing your tower, my dude. Okay, so I can go Bandit on top of the Mega Knight. We can stop its dash. We'll see what you're going to do after, my dude. Notice how we nullify all the damage from the Mega Knight, guys. Do you love to see that? I love it. I'm going to go for Heal Spirit as well so the Mega Knight doesn't jump for joy on our tower. And then he's going to go for Electro Wizard. So... Electro Wizard Mega Knight could be difficult for us. He's got the stunning capabilities of the Electro Wizard and, of course, the Mega Knight to shatter our hopes, dreams, and aspirations with our Royal Hogs, turning them into bacon in just mere seconds. Do I smell bacon? I could go for Goblin Cage here. I know that I didn't drop that in the prime time position, so you get one Hog Rider hit. Usually, we deny all damage with the most meticulous Goblin Cage placement, but it's fine. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs. I can go for a log if you go Goblin Gang. Oh, do you want to do it? You're not dropping it right down the middle because you know that I have log. He predicted my prediction. Why would you do such a thing, bro? Why can't you be nice and let me win the game? So we're going to go for part two with the bandit. You know, it was fun for part one, so it's going to be even better part two. We will be able to shut it down, and I can go for a heal spirit this time to keep our bandit alive a little bit longer. <laughs> so it heals through the Mega Knight damage, and then you fireball. Okay. Hmm. What else do we want to do? I could slow roll Mega Knight in the back, or I could use Goblin Cage. Or I could go for Skeleton Dragons because you didn't have Fireball in Cycle because you just used it. I think that's the best bet, and then we go for Royal Hogs. So even if he Mega Knights, we're in a really good spot. He's got Mega Knight Fireball. I don't understand how people come up with these decks. Why are you doing this to me right now, bro? Why you gotta be like that? So I'm just gonna go for Cage. We'll be able to shut down your Hog Rider. And I was saying that as I have like five answers to his hog rider as well. I'm like, why do you have so many answers to my win condition? I'm such a hypocrite, guys. We've got Mega Knight and Goblin Cage for his hog rider. So it's just going to be the duel of never breaking through. Besides the fact that I've got magic archers. So I'm cheating a little bit. You're making me blush. <laughs> yeah, we both don't have win conditions that can break through. But my magic archer breaks through no matter what deck you have. And that's why I love it. It's probably my favorite card in Clash Royale right now, just because of how strong it is. No matter the matchup, your opponent just can't stop the match. Excuse archer. me. Yo, the Hog Rider! Excuse what me. is it doing? It was stuck. He didn't know what he wanted in life. He was like at the smoothie bar. He's picking out a smoothie. He's like, I guess I'll have strawberry banana. Nah, never mind. You know what? I want a protein shake. And then he was shaking, moving about, but it just didn't break through. GG, well played and peace out, brother. It was a pleasure playing against you. So we got a game against Brian. What is up, my dude? We're going to enter the fight club with our Royal Hogs. If you want to go for skeletons, we're going opposite lane. Oh, okay. So we went opposite lane of your skeletons. And then you're like, I'm going to go opposite lane of your Royal Hogs. It's just opposite day, apparently. I'm going to go for skeleton dragons now because we got to destroy the skeletons. They're cousins. They need to get obliterated. Skeleton Dragons versus the Skeletons. The family reunion that never wants to happen, but sometimes it does happen. Hey, Goblin Cage Brawler Shrek dominating the tower. Okay, so what I can do is I can go for a bandit on top of the Electro Wizard, get it to charge up on it, stop the Electro from hitting our tower, and it doesn't get a single hit. You guys notice how the Electro Wizard just whiffed? That's brilliant. You'll love to see it. So Barb also doesn't give him any damage. This is going to be the most <sighs> annoying deck in Clash Royale because he's got Fisherman. I hate Fisherman. Fisherman Fireball, Fast Cycle. It's the best deck in the game right now, the one that he's playing. So I hope we can beat it. Royal Hogs are still going to give us damage on the tower. Hey, let's go. So we're up in damage against the best deck in Clash Drow. And he doesn't have Fireball. So I can Mega Knight and the tower that he wants to go for a Royal Giant on. If he goes off his lane. We can Goblin Cage it. And also Skeleton Dragons because he doesn't have Fireball. So we have massive amount of firepower. Let's go, baby. No fireball equals unlimited firepower. That's how we like to see it. I can skeleton dragons on top of the fisherman, and that's usually the issue. Is that fisherman right there? What are you doing? What are you doing with your big brain of yours? We can keep our skeleton dragons alive a little bit longer. Finish off those skellies. Oh, let's go, Kobe! Look at that tower damage. Bandit. Just she has found her date. She has found her true love. 
And she is just so affectionate to that tower, giving it so many kisses, smothering it with kisses. Aw, that was so cute. So I think he's going to go in for a Royal Giant. I thought he would go for it at the river, so I dropped my Magic Archer here. He could Fireball that, though. If he does, then we go for Royal Hogs in the right. I was hoping that we could bait out a Fireball and just take that transient amount of damage, but no such luck here. I'm going to go for Mega Knight, just so we can keep the Magic Archer alive a little bit longer. Oh, let's go! The Hunter's going to die! It's going to get eviscerated, actually. I can go in for a log to bounce back the Royal Giant. Keep the Mega Knight alive. 900 HP left on his tower. Oh my goodness gracious. We got him here, Chief. If we can just go in for Skeleton Dragons in the middle, make sure that he can't fireball everything that he wants, this is going to be great. So, oh my goodness. I think we can ban it again. You're not going to be able to have a sufficient counter to this, right? We can go Goblin Cage. And then you're not going to have Hunter to destroy the Goblin Cage Brawler. We can ignore everything. Go for a Heal Spirit to keep our Goblin Cage alive a little bit longer. And damage down the Royal Hog. Or not the Royal Hog. The, uh, <laughs> the Barred Barrel a little bit quicker. Royal Hog's in the right. Going to get through maybe? Maybe, just maybe. The Royal Hog's in the left are going to give us damage too. Come on. I can't even decide where we want to win the game. I've got so much damage on both sides that it's just confusing me. It's confounding me. And it's perplexing me in every single way. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do here. But hopefully, we'll be able to find our way in this game. So, I don't want to spend Elixir with a cage. I don't want to spend Elixir with anything, honestly. I want him to fireball me already. So I'm going to go for Real Hogs in the right, because we have Skeleton Dragons in the left. There's too much fireball bait in this match. You need to fireball the Real Hogs, and if you don't, then you lose to the Skeleton Dragons. So where do you want to lose? You get to pick now. Oh, it was so close to taking both towers at the exact same moment. 83 HP on the left. With a bandit, Mega Knight, and Skeleton Dragon locked on. So we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck. And this guy's going to go for Skeletons in the back. One less distraction card that you have for us. What are you going to do? So don't let yourself get distracted by the fact that this guy is probably going to have either... Hello, hello. No, he's not going to have a 2.9 Expo deck. I thought it was going to be a Fast Cycle Fireball deck. And he's surprising us with Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers is not good against Mega Knight. So let's go. We're going to get an astounding amount of value with this Mega Knight. The Goblin Cage is still going to be able to shut down the Musketeer and all the Royal Hogs in the other lane. And we can log it back for good measure. The Mega Knight is not answered. Sir, you just let the Mega Knight jump for joy on your tower like that? Do you not respect your towers? Do you not care about them? Do you throw them in the trash and disregard them? It's all trash to me. Wow. I feel bad for that tower. It doesn't feel appreciated. It was neglected. It was thrown out into the rain and left to just rot, to become dilapidated without any care. So I'm gonna go in for Royal Hogs and I could go for Magic Archer if I want to. I usually don't see Fireball. He's just gonna Three Musketeers again. This man is a man of one way. He only knows spam, he only knows forward. He doesn't know stop. It's like driving a car and then not knowing how to do reverse. I'm going fast again! <laughs> or even neutral. This dude just goes like all in. He's a savage. So I can log back the two Musketeers. I think that that's probably the play because we're able to finish off one of them. And then you notice how that one on the right was targeting the tower. It then goes on to the Goblin Cage. We're in a phenomenal position now. I could also go in for Rail Hogs. Dropping in this placement, not only does it make sure that that tower is distracting, but at the same time, notice how every single one of the Rail Hogs went straight towards the right-hand tower instead of one of them going towards the King Tower. One tile up further, they go towards the King Tower. One of them does, and you don't want that to happen. So we did the most optimal tile. One tile away from the river is what you guys want to do against everyone that is going to have one tower down. So I can also go in for a spicy Magic Archer here. Line it up with the two Musketeers. Oh, I tried to get too fancy, guys. I tried to get too fancy out here. But awesome Mega Knight. It's going to redirect. I think we want to go for a Heal Spirit away from the Muskies, so he's not going to be able to get a connection. The interesting... Th oh, he still gets a connection on to something. I think the Goblin Cage. Well, Shrek, why would you give him some health like that? Who allowed you to do that? I definitely did not write off on that. Come on, Shrek. Actually, I'm innocent. I guess you're from a Disney movie, so you're such a nice character, but I always thought Shrek was kind of mean and dejected in his movies. I don't know about you guys, if you felt a similar way. So nine seconds remaining. Can we hold the door? I think that his Royal Hogs don't take our tower down in four seconds. Yeah, so barely we come out with the W. 
Well, Mega Knight was going to jump on the tower anyway, so I don't know. I was a little bit scared there, but we won the game. GG and well played, man. All right, we got a game here. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's happening. I definitely want to go for a heal spirit. Giant skeleton in the back. Dude, we'll take you to the graveyard. We'll destroy this deck. We'll dumpster it, I hope. If it's graveyard, we're going to be a little bit of a sad panda. He's got fireball. Everyone's got fireball. Well, good thing for me, I have 10 fireball bait cards. So, we have an 8-card deck and 10 fireball bait cards. That's how we play Clash Royale, guys. We break the game. We cheat with this deck. No, no. If you cheat and fail, you're a cheater. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs because he has to cycle another 3 cards to get back to a fireball. And that's not happening anytime soon. I'm going to go for a Log as well so we keep the Magic Archer alive. Get more Pierce damage on the tower. Oh, yeah, baby. You'll love to see it. So, we could go Mega Knight on Mega Knight. But I'm thinking it's a little bit better for me to go in for a Bandit and Pulverize his Mega Knight that way. So yeah, that's ideal. Oh, I don't think that the Bandit's gonna be able to kill that, will it? Is it gonna kill the Firecracker? Come on, Bandit, I know you want to. Oh, that would have been magical. I can feel him slipping through my fingertips. At least we're gonna be able to activate King Tower with the Heal Spirit, so maybe, maybe it was better that we didn't. Maybe it was slightly better that we didn't, because now we have King Tower activated. You know what? I'm glad that the Bandit didn't do that. He knew better, or she knew better, actually. Sometimes I think that the bandit's a guy. I don't know. I just, it's hard to keep track of all the Clash Royale cards, man. Anyway, Magic Archer is about to pierce through. Nah, it's not going to get the chip damage that we want. It's so close. Look at how close it is to the tower. Yet it doesn't give me the damage that we deserve. Unexcusable. So, or inexcusable. That's the wrong word, right? Unexcusable isn't a word. We created a new word, guys. And it's definitely inexcusable that he let that Mega Knight jump all over the tower. But the Mega Knight... He's jumping for joy. He's a cheerful sir, and he is asserting the dominance. A skipping song, skipping song. I can also go in for rail hogs in the right if we need to, but this guy is about to lose his mind if we're able to get a bandit down and log back the Ram Rider. I think that the Ram Rider dies before getting a hit because we have King Tower activated. Maybe? Nah, it's gonna... Uh, it's still got a little bit of a love tap, but not too much damage. We can go for rail hogs, and we can go in for heal spirit because he just went adventurously with a Mega Knight. Wait... He could balloon me. Yeah, he could definitely balloon me and fireball the skeleton dragons. So I think he might take the tower here. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to immediately go in for Magic Archer up high so he's not able to fireball the skeleton dragons and the Magic Archer. So we still deny all damage besides the death damage. You'll love to see it. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs again because he just went for a fireball. I don't think he has an answer to this at all, guys. I think we're going to take the tower here. He's not going to be able to get back to the Skarmy that he needs. The Skarmy that he wants. His savior... So, he's going to probably go for a Mega Knight here. Or maybe, I don't know, do you Balloon or do you Mega Knight? Whatever you try to do, it doesn't even reach our tower in time. So, GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. We're pulling you back. You have to travel back in time with your time machine if you ever want to get that Mega Knight near my tower. GG, well played and peace out, brother. All right, we got a game here against a Lethal Lemon. Oh, no, I'm a little bit scared, guys. I've never seen a fruit. Is a lemon a fruit? I don't know. I've never seen a fruit that's been that scary before. Anyway, I'm going to go in for Bandit in the back. We go in for a log, and he's not responding. So what's going on? Is he not lethal? Is he a pacifist? What's happening? Okay, so he's going to go for Bandit, and they're going to hug it out on his side of the map. So that's why he wanted to do it. He wanted to fight on his side of the map instead. If we can go for a heal spirit and make sure that the Bandit goes onto that, it's not going to get any ounce of damage on top of our Magic Archer. So overall, we're up because he leaked a little bit of Elixir to go in for that Bandit later. I can go for a log, maybe? I'm not going to. I wanted to damage down the Elixir Collector, to be honest. But it doesn't look like it's the prime play yet. I could still. I honestly am going to go do it. I want to mitigate two Elixir from him. And I'm dropping it as far off to the left as possible in case he wanted to go in for anything on top of the goblins. But he didn't. He didn't drop a single card on top of my Goblin Cage Brawler. So he's going to get a hit here. I think what he's got is Golem. It looks like a golem deck after we see the Mega Minion. I thought it was going to be Three Musketeers after we saw the Bandit. Oh no, you got a Fireball with Golem. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't have any big spell. And then on top of that, he's got Fireball for all of my bait cards. This could be tragic. This is one of the harder matchups that I'll ever face today. So we're going to get the Skeleton Dragons to eviscerate and eat that Lumberjack alive. And we're going to take the tower too. Okay, so it might look like we've won the game. But we still have an uphill battle ahead of us, guys. If we can't defend this, we lose. So, 
Sunny the Lethal Lemon is going to be shining through with his golem in the back. Yep, there it is. Wait, you're golming in front. You're making your push go a little bit quicker than it should. That's not good for you, bro. You want to have a lot more elixir. If you drop it that early, you're not going to be able to build up as big of a push as you need, especially with double elixir barely hitting. This is good. He's going to fireball the cage. He didn't fireball the Magic Archer. If we keep the Magic Archer alive, I think we're fine. We go for Skeleton Dragons here. We definitely defend that. Why would he fireball the cage? What's going on in this guy's big brain? Hi. <laughs> I don't understand that, but I love it and I appreciate it. And if you want to go for another golem, I can go for real hogs. We might be able to take two towers to zero here. Our deck has got some of the best defenses in Clash Royale with Mega Knight and Goblin Cage. But it's not that good against Golems. Because if your opponent is able to spam you with cannon carts or a ton of mini P.E.K.K.A.s, it could be difficult. It definitely could be difficult. Fortunately for us, he doesn't have Electro Dragon. And fortunately for us, he does not have Cannon Cart. So those are the two cards that we're looking to never play against if we ever play against a Golem deck. He did, however, have Fireball. So that is not good. And then Elixir Collector. So fortunately for us, he went in for an earlier gold than he was supposed to. We took advantage of that, and we took two towers to zero. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. Good luck in the rest of your grand challenge.